to me. Sorry, it's kind of exciting. Um, so anyway, that's that. And um, But I'm going to talk about today a really, really interesting study that was just published um, like last week. And it is from research from Chicago Celiac Disease Center where they are doing kind of human and mouse studies to focus on the cause of celiac disease. And it's really, really interesting. I'm going to, of course, link you back to the whole article. I encourage you to read the whole thing because it was... I learned a lot from it. It's a, a kind of a, a dense, a dense article. It has a lot of material in it. So I'm going to actually just read some parts of the article to you that I found really just exceptionally interesting, um, and then uh, kind of chat a little bit about that along the way. So. Um, it, and it's published in Science Daily. So it says, blocking a factor that can activate the human immune response against intestinal bacteria or certain foods could prevent the development of celiac disease in those most at risk, researchers report in the journal Nature. Um, so I'm assuming since they're saying most at risk, I, would, I guess would have a genetic predisposition for it, but not have not developed it yet. That, that's my guess on that. Um, the study points to two chemical signals, interleukin, which I'm probably saying incorrectly, interleukin-15 and um, Retinotic, retinic acid, we'll go with that, uh, a derivative of vitamin A as triggers for the inflammatory response to gluten, a protein found in many grains that cause celiac disease. So quote um, says, we found that having elevated levels of IL-15 in the gut could initiate all the early stages of celiac disease in those who are genetically susceptible and that blocking IL-15 could prevent the disease in our mouse model, said um, Dr. Jebri, Associate Professor of Medicine and Pathology, Co-Director of the Digestive Disease Research Core Center, and a member of the Celiac Disease Center and Comprehensive Cancer Center at the University of Chicago. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Um, it also demonstrated that in the treatment of inflammatory intestinal diseases, vitamin A and its ret retin... Audit I'm so sorry I'm saying that wrong. Retinotic. Retinotic? Thank you. Retinotic acid metabolites are likely to do more harm than good. Um, and it just talks about, which is, it talks, interestingly enough, that people thought that this vitamin A um, would do good things, but in a stressed intestinal environment, it was actually, um, it, it was thought to lessen the inflammation in the intestine and actually um, promoted it rather than um, bringing it down. And just a side note, it said the pro-inflammatory effect in the stressed intestine may also help explain the connections between Accutane, a vitamin A metabolite given for the treatment of severe acne and the onset of infl inflammatory bowel disease. I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, sorry, I put so many notes in this article. I don't even, I'm probably saying too much. but um, And then it says that understanding celiac disease may speed the development of new therapies for other autoimmune disorders that celiac is linked to, like um, type 1 diabetes, um, and uh, autoimmune thyroidi thyroiditis. Um, from the study, Jabri and his colleagues combined insights and data from celiac disease patients who had been cared for at University of Chicago Celiac Disease Center with experiments using a mouse model of, of the disease developed in their lab. Moving back and forth between human data where we develop our ideas and mouse experiments where we test them was extremely helpful, said Jabri. In turn, the mouse model gave us insights into the human disease. Um, they knew that many patients with this disease had high levels of interle interleukin-15 in their intestines. When the researchers increased the levels of the signal signaling molecule in mouse intestine and mice, the mice developed all the early symptoms of celiac disease. Adding ret retinotic acid, did I say it right that time? Okay. To the mix only made the symptoms worse. Now this is what I starred, highlighted, underlined. When they blocked IL-15, however, the disease mice reverted to normal and were once again able to tolerate gluten. One more time. When they blocked IL-15, however, the diseased mice reverted to normal and were once again able to tolerate gluten. Crazy. Um, so clinical trials of this medication that block IL-15 are very, um, very much underway right now. Um, and I guess they're saying it's, uh, it's very encouraging that blocking IL-15 um, or IL-15 signaling may be a way to restore oral tolerance to gluten and allow effective responses to vaccines aiming to prevent the development of celiac disease. This is the first study to identify an abnormal pathway leading to loss of tolerance of dietary antigens. It suggests that a dysregulated intestinal environment may be the underlying cause for food allergies, debris said. Well, we all know celiac disease is not a food allergy. Um, what type of dysregulation is responsible for food allergies, such as to peanuts, is not yet known. So they're taking what they're learning from the celiac disease model and applying it to um, the cause of food allergies. And um, 
Although IL-15 plus retinotic acid combination leads to inflammation and tissue damage in those at risk for celiac disease, the authors suggest that for those who, for genetic reasons, are less susceptible, the same combination could help enhance vaccines against several bacterial infections that cause um, diarrheal diseases. This is crazy. This, is, this study is crazy. So that's basically my highlights from this article. Again, I'll link you back. Please take the time to read it because it's really, really interesting. It, it's kind of breaking news. We're learning a lot of things through this study that we did not know before. So, or I didn't know before that wasn't out there to be read. So, um, yeah, that's all for now. I'm going to go out and celebrate my birthday. Enjoy the day. I hope everyone else is enjoying the day. And um, thanks so much for watching. And as always, it's from Have Nuts Having Gluten-Free Dining.